HTTV with Illingworth and Gregory. Hoggy, what did you make of today's game? It was um, a frustrating one. I think it took us a bit of time to get used to the game and the, the tempo of it, but I think we grew into it. And I think second half, I think quite unlucky not to, to make a goal, to be honest. What do you think changed in that second half? It seemed like there was an, an up in the tempo and the intensity of the match, first of all. Well, yeah, the boss the boss wanted that. He um, spoke to us at half-time and, and he, he made sure that second half we, we lifted the tempo a bit and moved the ball a bit quicker because um, they were quite slow at moving across the pitch and we weren't moving the ball quick enough in the first half. So he, second half we've improved that and I think it just made the gaps a bit bigger to, to get some players involved in the game. Why do you think it was so slow and the tempo was down in the first half. Is it different to a Premier League match when you're playing in front of big crowds and high intensity matches to then come to the Carabao Cup match mm. where there's 6,000 people in the stadium rather than 25? Yeah, the atmosphere was strange that like you said, there wasn't many people here tonight and I think that kind of make, puts an influence on the game but it's you've got to you've got to look past that as a player on the pitch and like I say, it was it took us a bit to get going, but once we did get going, I thought we were unlucky not to, to score a goal or two. It must be frustrating because that second half performance was, was excellent. It was just lacking that final cutting edge, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Um, I think Sabiri come on at half time and made a difference. I think he got on the ball and some, like I say, once you move the ball a bit quicker, the, the gaps open a, a lot more than they did in the first half. And he come on and got in some nice spaces and done some nice touches and flicks. And he was quite unlucky not to score yourself. How's he settled in and Flo Hadajanai as well? How have they settled into the group? Great, yeah. The um, two lads have come in, trained really well, and like you said, they've got the chance today and they haven't done themselves any harm. I guess the focus now, though, goes back onto Premier League action and Burnley at the weekend. Yeah, it's, you want to you wanna stay in the cup, but like I said, it's, it's sometimes not a bad thing. It, it's a, you can switch off from that uh, competition and make sure you put all the focus on the Premier League because that's where we all want to be. We want to stay there and we want to try our best to make sure we do that this year. You came on obviously against Leicester City but this was your first start. How did it feel to be back out on the pitch after your injury? It was good, yeah. It was uh, fantastic to be honest. Um, it took, a, like you say, the first 10 or 15 minutes to get my bearings and get a feel of, of my positioning on the pitch but once, like I say, I got that I felt quite comfortable. Um, my legs felt good, ankle felt good so it's quite positive on my behalf. What did you make of the almost step up in opposition from what you faced last year? Obviously, playing against Premier League players now. Um, yeah, there's there's um, a change in quality, but like I say, it's it's as we play as a team, we'll we'll find when we play the big teams, it'll be a big difference to when you play Crystal Palace on a like I say a Tuesday night with not many fans. It's um, it's I'm not going to count this game as like one of them them ones that we need to focus on, but. Like I say, when, when we do play the big teams, we've got to step up and make sure we perform a lot better than we did there. And now, obviously, with the minutes under your belt, you must be raring to go to try and claim that starting position for the weekend. Yeah, yeah, I haven't trained much, but like I say, there's a, another big Premier League game on Saturday, Burnley away, which is um, one that we've been looking forward to and one we need to make sure we try and collect some points from. Just a final word on the Huddersfield Town supporters. There was just over 400 that travelled today, four and a half hours to the ground, so mm -hmm. it's a great effort from them as well. Fantastic, yeah, like I say, we made sure all the lads went over at the end and made sure we um, appreciate the travel that they've done. It's, it's not easy coming on a Tuesday night, that distance, like I say. It's, um, we're grateful for, to have them behind us. Thank you for speaking to us. No problem.